Number 17, bare free charges do not remain stationary when close together. To illustrate this, calculate the acceleration of two isolated protons separated by two nanometers, a typical distance. Explain how you show the following steps in Andrew's problem solving strategy. Okay, so um, we have two protons and they're separated by about two uh, nanometers and we have to find their acceleration. So the thing is, right, we need to know a couple of things um, in order to solve this. You gotta know the mass of the proton. It's about 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. It would be the same as the mass of a neutron, all right? And the mass of an electron is about, I think it's 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And the charge of a proton is about 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, all right? So we gotta know this in order to solve. So the first thing is, it's asking us for acceleration, all right? Now we know the general nature of this problem. When we have two charges separated by a particular distance, there will be a force applied to them, right? So all of a sudden, once I realize that I'm dealing with force and then they're asking me for acceleration, I have the aha moment where it's like, oh, right, force and acceleration are related via this formula. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if I can simply find the force, right, that's generated for the force of repulsion basically between these two charges, I can easily solve then for the acceleration knowing the mass. All right, so we basically have everything we need, all right? So let's solve this thing for, actually, I'll, I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of substitutions here. So to solve for acceleration, simply divide out the mass from both sides. So it's force divided by the mass, okay? And now, what force are we talking about? Are we talking about the gravitational force? Are we talking about spring force? Are we talking about electrostatic force? What, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about electrostatic force. Right, so that's the formula over here on the right-hand side. Check out number 10. I think I went through um, a, a reasonable, detailed discussion about how to think through that formula. So the electrostatic force here is going to be equal to, then, the uh, electrostatic constant K multiplied by the charge of one and the charge of another, right? Absolute value of them divided, then, by the radius between or the distance between them squared. And that whole thing, that's the force, right? And this whole thing is then divided by the mass of the... Um, proton. Remember, if I'm trying to find the acceleration of a proton, I got to find the force on the proton, and then I'm going to use the mass of the proton. All right, consistency is key. So now, basically, I have everything I need. Right? I know the acceleration here is going to be equal to the that electrostatic constant, 8.99 times 10 to the uh, ninth, multiplied now by the two charge values, and each of them are a proton, so it's just 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, and then do it again. Right? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Absolute value there. Divide that all by now the distance between them. They told us it's two nanometers, all right? So we can simply just convert this so it's two times 10 to the minus nine meters, all right? Simple conversion, check out number 10. i give you a little trick on how to think about it. Um, so this is gonna be two times 10 to the minus nine. Please square it. Don't forget that. And then that whole numerator thing, it's a complex fraction divided by the mass, which is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms for a proton. And all we gotta do is just plug it all in, all right? So 8.99 times 10 to the nine multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, and that's essentially squared, then divided by two times 10 to the minus nine, and that's squared, all right? And then what we're gonna do is divide that by 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27, and we have a tremendously large acceleration. That's what they're trying to show. Uh, this is 3.45, 3.45 times 10 raised to the 16th, all right, meters per second squared. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty uh, That would be pretty interesting, all right? So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.